Hello everyone, this is Jan from Organix 50 and Raw. How are you today? I am wonderful. I'm enjoying some rain outside. Um, and I'm here eating my lunch. And I wanted to share again with you what I'm eating for lunch. Had a little bit more time today, so I chopped up this papaya. And I'm going to squeeze the lime on it to give it a little bit of sweet, sour, and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of gourmet Himalayan salt on it to give it the salty. And then I'm going to sprinkle some chili powder on it to give it a little bit of heat and savoriness. This, this um, meal hits all the flavor notes. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but you know what I'm trying to say. Hits all makes every taste bud in your mouth happy. You have the sweet, you have the salty, you have the savory, you have the sour. And that's why I like it so much. It's very satisfying. I haven't actually had it in a long time. I forget about things that I like. I don't know, maybe you guys are like that. You you find something you like and and then you just forget that you like it and until one day you remember it. And I haven't actually had this meal in a long time. But I did wanna talk about papaya to you guys because um, it's so good for you to eat that but that papaya will help my digestion it will help break down any protein in my body that is undigested or that is being digested but let me let me read all the things to you guys I made some notes here so I don't want to forget anything but first when you eat papaya it helps um, to prevent heart disease. Now you can't just eat it once a year and think it's gonna prevent heart disease, okay? You have to be consistently eating papaya as with any good thing in your life, consistently eating it. It helps prevent heart disease and it helps with arterial sclerosis, which can be reversed contrary to some people's thinking. It help, It has lots of vitamin C and vitamin E. It's full of beta carotene, thus the orange color and it has a lot of antioxidants in it that's just some of the things that i wrote down with the benefits of eating papaya now the seeds when you get your papaya don't just throw those seeds away you can actually eat those seeds and you can eat a teaspoon a day to detox the liver and that's what they've done in chinese medicine for a long time it's antibacterial uh, against e coli salmonella and uh, staph infection so it's got a great antibacterial property and it also helps one of the most popular um, known benefits of eating papaya seed is that it helps eradicate intestinal parasites so not only do you have the delicious pulp of the papaya and the seeds but you also have the papaya leaf which helps with gluten intolerance when ingested uh, water retention, IBS, uh, constipation, and heartburn, and other multitude of other wonderful things that the papaya leaf does. Now, I have yet to try a papaya leaf smoothie. I was going to do it this morning, but I didn't have bananas, and I want to try it with banana. So I am. that's going to be what I'm going to do in the next few days, and I will record that. But we can't even stop here because papaya is wonderful for your skin. Papaya, if you mash up some papaya and you put it on your face or if you have eczema or um, ringworm or some skin disorder or disease going on, you can mash up the papaya and you can actually put it on your skin and leave it there from 15 to 30 minutes and it will leave your skin um, it will help remove the dead cells because of the enzyme that's in it, papain. The enzyme, kind of like tenderizes the skin kind of munches away at all the dead skin cells and when you wipe it away your skin will be really soft and supple it even says you can use it if you have cracked heels you can even put mashed papaya on your cracked heels and leave it there it's good for aging lines and dark dark spots on the skin of course not using it once but maybe using it every day for a few weeks or a few months it will help with that i've even red that you can even put it in your hair to help with hair growth it sounds kind of gross to me but you never know you can eat papaya also green it's one of those fruits that you can eat green but 
the internet does say that you should really cook it first because it has a milky like alkaloid in it that they say could be toxic um, but you can actually take a green very firm green papaya you can make like julian strips out of it and if you're cooking food you could like saute it with some onion and and some salt and and apparently it is a very good noodle um i want to just talk about the main enzyme in papaya it is called papain and papain is a protolytic enzyme there are a group of protolytic enzymes and what they do is they break down the long molecule chains of protein so papain helps break down protein it's one of those important enzymes that you need to have um, it also is really great for lowering inflammation in the body so many wonderful things about papaya and i know that there are some people who avoid papaya because it is uh, does have a bad reputation for being one of those genetically modified organisms but good news is that in the research that i've done the hawaiian papaya the little one um, is genetically modified and the large mexican one the large orangish reddish mexican one uh, from the research I've done is not genetically modified. So go and get your papaya. And if you don't like the smell of it, because a lot of people avoid eating papaya because they say it smells like feet. Well, just plug your nose and get it in you anyway. I love eating papaya. My whole family eats papaya. I don't have one person in the family that rejects papaya i guess maybe i started giving it to them very young but i'm really glad they eat papaya and i'm really glad i live on the border of mexico where i can get a box of papaya for five dollars sometimes when they're really ripe and they want to get rid of them Can you imagine a box of like eight papayas for five dollars um so i'm gonna eat my lunch i'm very hungry it is two o'clock i've uh, eaten um, actually I haven't eaten anything today I've ha drank a half of a gallon of cucumber and pineapple juice I cleaned my house because my daughter Amber is coming to see us tomorrow she's gonna be with us Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday night she's gonna be with us from four nights so we're gonna have a lot of fun and play cards and stay home and relax it's July 4th weekend my studio will be closed so we get a little bit of an extra break so I will be in touch with you guys though. Blessings and take care. Bye.